Hello, and welcome to theCUBE's special presentation live performance here in our Palo Alto studios. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE with Dave Vellante, CUBE co host. Super Cloud 22 is our inaugural event. It's kind of a pilot event where we're going to go out and explore the hot trend called Super Cloud, which came out of the genesis of multiple observations of theCUBE's performances out across the events. reInvent, VMware Explore, VMworld previously, a lot of different events we've been identifying this trend. Dave, we've been looking at Super Cloud for quite some time, and it's been interesting. Yeah, so the premise behind SuperCloud, John, is it goes, the, the roots go back to 2013 and 2014, where at that time we observed and our model showed that the economics of cloud services were going to look more like software economics as opposed to professional services, which had diseconomies of scale at, at volume. And two things came out of that. One is Amazon turned the data center into an API. So that meant that increasingly products and services were going to be delivered through programmability, as opposed to boxes and appliances. And the second thing was data. The data was going to be created in the cloud and ecosystems were going to form around that data with industry specific opportunities to allow companies to compete and thrive in that new ecosystem. Now, fast forward to 2021, you now had four hyperscale clouds. In addition to AWS, you had GCP, of course, Azure and Alibaba. And they were spending hundreds of billions of dollars on CapEx every year. And what we saw was that companies were actually building services within those clouds, hiding the underlying complexity of the primitives, but then increasingly building abstraction layers across clouds. And it was not only technology companies, it was industry participants. And so we began to define this term multi-cloud or, or super cloud. What's different from traditional multi-cloud, which is really a symptom of multi-vendor, and then understand some of the examples. And that's why we started SuperCloud 22, to really open it up to the industry and get greater input. It's interesting, you know, when we were riffing on this, we saw this early, a couple of years ago, you and I were talking about this on theCUBE, but at reInvent was really kind of when we kind of put it together and said, you know, something special is happening here. We saw the structural change of cloud with AWS and the hyperscalers and all that change over and everyone got great benefits and the goodness from being in a native cloud. But there was something structurally changing and when we called it super cloud, some people came out of the woodwork, you know, and challenged us. Charles Fitzgerald was one of the, the, the persons who kind of called us out and said, hey, you know, this is really not real or it could be real. But that made us think, let's not go out and spend eight months and research it. Let's put it out in the open. So the premise of this event today is to start the discussion in the open. And we're going to talk to the best names in tech, some of the biggest companies and startups that are kind of in the new structural change. This is going to be super important. So really important that we include everybody. Yeah, and there are a number of founding participants, uh, certainly the, the likes of, of VMware and many, many others that are joining us today to help us advance the thinking and the future of cloud. It's interesting, if you look at the names on there, you have all the big players, HashiCorp, VMware, you even have Oracle participating in, in the ecosystem portion, um, and then brings it all together. But it's about operations, it seems, Dave. The, the trend we're going to see here, I think, today, when we hear the voices of the community is, dev developers are winning, we see the open source is booming. It's the ops and security seems to be leveling up, and that's going to be a big focus of what is super cloud. I think every layer of the stack, that has implications for super cloud as well as ecosystems. And as I said before, not just traditional technology companies, any company can really be a super cloud company. Well, we've got a great day, we've got a great lineup. We're going to be live here in the studio bringing you the presentation. We're streaming it virtually. Again, this is a pilot event just to kick it off with all the best names in tech and they're going to weigh in on super cloud. And Dave, I have to ask you before we get started, is there anything that jumps out at you that surprised you from all the uh, the hubbub around super cloud and the momentum that it has. I mean, Gartner just endorsed it on SiliconANGLE today. We got a published article there, siliconangle.com. So what are the big surprises that you see? I wouldn't say it was cloud? a surprise, but it's, it's very clear that the, the, that the ecosystem and the community believe that there's something new brewing beyond IaaS, beyond PaaS, and beyond traditional SaaS, and we chose to call it super cloud. Well, SuperCloud, we're going to unpack it, we're going to discuss it, we're going to debate it, we're going to put it out in the open. Again, this is theCUBE's ethos, and we're going to start the day kicking off right here with our first keynote presentation from Vittorio at VMware. So stay with us for more live coverage. <laughs> 